Hello and welcome to episode 40 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you a little bit more of the Evernote web clipper that you can download to your browser of choice because I think it's one of the best features of Evernote. And for those of us, like if you followed along with the episode last week, episode 39 on creating the meal planner, the web clipper can really, really help you to just collect all those recipes that you come across online straight into your Evernote without too much bother. Now, I know I covered the Evernote web clipper in a previous episode, I think maybe episode four or five, but I want to go into a little bit more detail because I know how valuable the web clipper is. So join me in this episode, episode 40, and let's go into a little bit more detail of the web clipper. Okay, so let's imagine that we are searching for recipes to add to our recipe list in to do it to Evernote. And we have healthy lunch ideas. So let's just say that we want to prepare lunch because we're very lucky we can stay at home. And over here we've got chicken salad with couscous and oranges. Sounds actually very nice indeed. So we've had a look at this, looks fantastic. We, we can use up leftover roast chicken in this simple and healthy chicken salad. Um, so we've got ingredients, we've got method, we've got quite a few options here and I think we've even got a video down at the bottom. So let's say, yes, I want to add this to my Evernote um, recipe list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open, click on the Evernote icon on the top and it opens up uh, my web clipper here. Now, I can just immediately click slay, save right now, and that's gonna go straight to my general reference, which is here, but I actually would want to put this into my inbox, wherever I can find it, there it is. So I'd want to put this into my inbox. Now, if I remember correctly, I, yes, I have down here the notebook that I prepared last week, which is called recipes, so I can click on recipes. I can add a tag, and if I had like chicken dishes, I can just add ticket chicken. I can also add a remark, uh, like this would be uh, great for uh, Saturday's lunch. So I could add that one in, and if I wanted to, I would. Now, here's something that I would suggest that you do. Sometimes the way that a website is uh, created it makes it a little bit difficult for you sometimes for the simplified article to look right so I here we go I've clicked the simplified article um, and I look down and it's just got the method and maybe that's all I want to keep which is great I can just click save right now and that would go straight into my recipe notebook however um, maybe I want to see the full page which has um, all sorts of little options for me, the method. It's a little bit better formatted and I can do it like that. That's fine. Now, I could also bookmark it, which would just send the link, or I could take a screenshot. Now, if I click that, I have to decide where I want the screenshot to be. So I drag out, um, maybe I just want this picture, something like that, and click there, bang, screenshot taken, and then I can just click save. But in this case, uh, I don't actually, if I wanted to, by the way, I can also highlight stuff like here. Um, so I can uh, do something like that. And now I can just click save. That's going to click over now to my Evernote. And it's going to go straight into my recipes. So there you go. Clicked to recipes. Done. So now let's just say we want to go for the uh, full. So let's go back to the full one. So I'm going to click that. And we want the full page, so we can send that. But actually, I quite like the simplified article here because really all I need is the picture here and the method. So again, I can just click here. And if you notice now, I can highlight um, things here if I wish to, which is really, really cool because maybe there's some ingredients that I want to do um, which didn't actually register on this page. So if I go back to the article, um, this is now... Uh, cut out the article for me or I can click the full page which was nice before let's go back where was the full page so the full page uh, and again if I wanted to here 
I need to get couscous, couscous, so I could just highlight that. Uh, I think, okay, I need to buy some fruity olive oil, so I can highlight that. Uh, let's say we've already got chicken, hand chopped. Oh, I haven't got chives, so let's highlight that. Now, save the article now, and, oops, save the article now, and look what's going to happen. Well, we're going to have a look at the results when this is clipped. It's just spending, it took up a few seconds to clip this over. Done. Clicked over. So let's now go over to my, um, go over to my inbox. Actually, it's not in the inbox because we sent this to recipes. Let's go to recipes. Um, and these are from last week. So if I need to just do a click update. So here comes in the, the, um, the article I've just clipped. And there we go. And if we click on that, and there you go. Look what's happened here. We've got the uh, first showing you the actual highlight. Uh, there are some, should be some more coming in. Just take. Sometimes it does take a few minutes. I don't, I don't understand. Now, obviously, this hasn't come in yet, um, so uh, I don't know why it hasn't come in. Is it coming in? Come in. No, it hasn't come in yet. But uh, this has actually shared because it tells me it's shared, so that's okay. Um, so anyway, that's one way of doing it. So the web clipper is very, very, very useful. Now let's just say I have a blog that I want to uh, collect and now I'm looking for a blog post. Uh, I don't really have any blogs in here. Uh, last week I did show you the, um, oh, we're going to capex.co. So okay, we're going there. Uh, maybe that's not particularly interesting. I don't know, but let's have a look. Um, so we've got quite a bit of news in here. Um, let's just say I'm particularly interested in the skills gap. I'm not particularly. This is a HBR, so this is a Harvard um, Harvard uh -huh, article. So um, now this is a full-blown article, but really all I'm interested in is the reading of this article. I'm not interested in all the additional stuff. So if I click on my Evernote, um, I can click on article and that's just going to click the, the article. As you can see, all the ads have disappeared. Uh, I actually prefer to do this in the simplified version because when you look at the, isn't that, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I've got my highlighting tool here. So like I go, oh yeah, I'm going to mention about Donald Trump. I can highlight that. Uh, I can highlight these here. Uh, I think that's particularly interesting. And whatever you might, as you're reading through the article, um, this could be particularly interesting for you. So I'm going to move this up to my, because uh, I, I, I'm i using my laptop, which is not something I normally do my browsing from. So uh, my, by the way, to set this up, you can actually go to your settings and in here, smart filing, I don't really want to use that. Um, always start in because that one to me is always starting inbox because I as I mentioned many times before I have always sent articles to my inbox so I can progress later tag selection smart filing now I'm not interested in that um, always starting article so here we can actually I'm gonna say simplified because I think that just looks really cool um, and then done so now this is always gonna go let's save this to my inbox now remember I saved the I do hope I saved the, um, so let's go back into my inbox and I'm going to have to do my, um, <clears throat> uh, I have to do my uh, sync because uh, I'm doing this live. So uh, this takes a few seconds to come in and there you go. I've got the, just the article, all the adverts have disappeared, all my highlights are there and I mean that is just really, really cool. I think that is one of the beauties of the uh, Evernote uh, web clipper. I mean, you don't even have to click. So for example, if you want to read an article like I've got here, I just want to see the simplified article, just leave it like that and read through. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Beautiful, really, really cool way of using your um, web clipper. Now, <clears throat> let me show you how I do this in Chrome. So in Chrome, um, I also have, okay, so here I am in my Chrome. And now I have my Chrome a little bit differently set up from my, 
Safari simply because Chrome is my business tool. I really only use Chrome for business. So let's again go to BBC because bbc.co.uk. Um, let's find a news article. So I have my web clipper set up in here. I used to have, um, let's have a look, what we got? I don't know, oh dear, more on Trump, always Trump. Um, so here you go, why open offices are bad for us. There sounds like an interesting article. So we have the article is here. As you can see, it's a bit messy at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my Evernote web clipper. Uh, that's set up to open in simplified article. And look at that, it's just cleaned up the website beautifully. Again, like with um, Safari, I can zoom in. And I can just sit back and I can read the article. Really, really, really cool way of doing um, the, and again, um, if I wanted to, I can highlight articles like this. Um, you know, I can think, oh yeah, that's really cool. I can just highlight that, click save, send it over to my Evernote. This is what it's doing right now. So Evernote is sending it, sending it, syncing, syncing, syncing. Um, yeah. Um, but anyway, you, you get the idea. Now, <clears throat> this is something that I strongly recommend for all of you guys who are using the Web Clipper. Please get into the habit of uh, putting in your, getting down the down, downloading the Web Clipper because it really is something that is going to help you uh, to become much, much better user of Evernote. And the one tip that I give you is that please, set it up so it sends it directly to your inbox. The reason for this is you need to be able to look at the article later when you're processing your inbox and you're able to just put together and clean up. Uh, you might want to delete it at a later date, you might want to keep it, whatever way. So send it always to your inbox. You can change it when you're clipping a recipe to your recipe uh, article, whatever, but always have the default as your inbox so you don't lose articles in the middle of your Evernote. Okay, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you found it useful and please don't forget to join me in episode 41 next week. But until then, I wish you all a very, very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.